Hi, I decided to make this video because the water material of my previous tutorial didn't work in Blender 4, but we can fix it very easy. In the material we used a principal shader connected to volume, but for some reason it doesn't work in Blender 4. So instead using the principal shader, we can use an emission shader, just lower the strength, and choose a color. Now for those who haven't seen the tutorial, I'm gonna explain the water material again, but also I'm gonna explain some things that I missed in the previous video. Okay, so I have my scene ready here, just added some models, uh, you can find free models on my Gumroad, maybe you can use something from there, or you can use whatever you like. Uh, first of all, I'm going to use Cycles and render with the GPU. 120 samples for preview and also enable the noise for preview. Now I'm going to change to render preview for lighting here in the world properties. Select the environment texture and choose your HDR image. Now we are ready to add the water with Shift A at the cube and just scale it up with S. And we can scale it on the Z axis by pressing S then Z. And just make sure it has enough depth for the models. Now apply the scale with Ctrl A, scale. This is just to prevent any issue. Now I'm gonna open the shader editor. Create the material and delete the shader. Now with Shift A, add a glass shader. Also a transparent shader. And connect them with a mix shader. Now just plug into the surface. And we can change the color. Uh, something important, always check your normals. To do that, go over here. Click on face orientation. It should be in blue color. Red color means inverted normals. And this can cause shading issues. So in edit mode, press Alt N and click on flip or recalculate outside. And now it looks correct. Now at the light path, we can use the search bar. Just type the name and connect each shadow ray into factor. Now in world properties, I'm going to increase the strength to 3. Then here in the editor, change to word. Select the image and hit Ctrl T. If it doesn't work, go to Add-ons and enable Node Wrangler. Now we can rotate the HDR image. Just move the C value and we can rotate it like a sunlight until you find a lighting that you like. Now let's go back to object and add a noise texture connect to normal now search for bump and connect between noise 
uh, glass. But instead normal, connect to height and just increase the scale so we can make the waves. We can lower the strength in bump. For this I used 0 0.09. We can also add a mapping node. Just select the noise texture and press Ctrl T. We can also increase the scale here or increase only on one axis. Now the last step, add a volume absorption and connect to volume. We can change the density. Uh, this node absorbs the light as it passes through, so we can get a gradient effect. The deeper the water, the denser. Uh, for this I used 0.3. And now add an emission shader and connect them to an add shader. I'm gonna lower the strength in emission. Also pick a color and make it darker. And we can also pick a color in absorption. And we can play with the index of refraction, I or R. In roughness, I used 0.15 to make it less transparent. Now in the light path, with each shadow ray connected, I can see more reflections. It looks better to me. Now in Render Properties, under Film, I use Transparent to get rid of the background. Also in Color Management, I used Filmic. With Medium High Contrast. I also added a narrow light. and increase the strength in light properties. We need a high value, like 8000 or so. And you can also add a sunlight if you like. And that's it. Thank you.